Hey guys, Light the Shadow Reaper here. Welcome to Light Place Portal 2. Um, I'm not going to be able to do a cooperative game, but I want I wanted to play this game because I like the first one. The first one was actually very interesting with all the challenges. So, uh, as you can see, someone had a bit of a fun time with this. Mm. I wanted to... I wanted to go into it blind, but I guess someone decided to go ahead. Not me. Oh well. I'm not going to be able to do cooperative play, but I can do single player because I don't have friends. Good you have been oh, here we go. I'm only going to be in here for about, or in this area for about two videos because... You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. Essentially, I'm only here because this is... I'm only in this area because this is sort of a quick thing. So, for the next few days, I'm going to be here. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. Also, controller does not work on this game. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. This is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the arm. You should now feel mentally reinvigorated. Not really. If you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. Well, I was having fun. Now, please return to your bed. White. Good morning. You have been in suspension for nine, 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 nine. Hello? Anyone in there? Hello? Are you going to open the door at any time? Ah! Ah! Dog, dog. You look um, good. Looking good, actually. Are Hello. you okay? How are you? Don't answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take us. Please prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm. Stay, stay calm. Prepare. It's all I want to get out. It's all fine. All right. Don't move. I'm going to get us out of here. Oh, Safety you closet. might want to hang on to something. Word of advice. Up to you. Safety closet. Safety closet. You all right down there? Can you hear me? Hello? Hello? What was that? Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. But don't be alarmed, all right? Uh, although, if you do, Can I still you do feel alarmed, the puzzles? try to hold on to that feeling, because that is the proper the reaction the fun to part being of the game. told that you've got brain damage. And the only reason do you that understand it what I'm saying at all? Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me. Just say yes. Yes. Okay, what you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you just you just jumped. But never mind. Say apple. Apple. Whee! Okay, you know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. All reactor core safeguards are Can now non-functional. Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. Uh... Okay, oh, look, gosh. I wasn't going to mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. How are you I'm doing down there? You still holding on? I'm going to stand back here. So, of course, the whole relaxation center stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Hold on. I'm getting this thrown out. Tricky. And, of course, nobody tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? Why should I be kept informed? You know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of. Why? It's close. Can you see? Am I going to make you through? But yeah, you're fine. You got an extra... Uh, uh, stop, 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 I, I just can't concentrate. Oh, you need to do more than just concentrate. What do you think it's going to be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? Right, you know, I hit that one, I hit that one. What the heck? Okay, listen, we should get our story straight, all right? If anyone asks, and no one's going to ask, don't worry, but if anyone asks, tell them as far as you know. The last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive. 
Alright, not dead. Okay, Where the heck there. am I? On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're gonna need to get out of here. Is it a portal gun? So I can get out of the death trap of a room? Get ready. Also because that's the name of the game, so it would obviously be in there. Good news. Okay. That is not a docking station. I'm just gonna stand behind the bed. Safety closet. Uh, I'm gonna attempt a manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. Well, that's why I stay behind the bed. There. I don't Remember, like getting thrown around. You're looking for a gun that makes holes, not bullet holes. But don't worry, you'll figure out. Seriously, do hold on this time. Hold on to what? I don't have hands. Probably in no fit state to run this particular type of cognitive gauntlet, but um, at least you're a good jumper. So you got that, you got the jumping on your side. Um, just do your best, yes, I do. and I'll meet you up ahead. Okay. Um. Well, here goes nothing. Right. Off you go. That's the spirit. Radio. Ah, my good friend Radio. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our control. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide uh, instructional and motivational support. It says so have a nice day. Still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, uh, or structural collapse. Got the clock problem. The portal will open, and emergency testing will begin in three. Two. One. Oh, I'm still shell, apparently. Or shell. I don't know. Q and button-based testing remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. If Q and button-based testing caused this emergency, don't worry. The odds of this happening twice are very soon. Please note the incandescent particle field across the exit. Ooh. This aperture science material it looks better than the last one. will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. Well, good news I'm not all unauthorized, apparently. Although, no one knows about it because they're all dead, so. How am I authorized? Still say it looks like capture, and that just helps it. If you feel liquid running down your neck, relax, lie on your back, and apply immediate pressure to your temples. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. That's bad. I kind of like my ears. Test chamber one, out of 19 again. Is this going to be a short game? All right, so we have a portal there, a camera. What's this do? Oh! So if I were to do this one? Hmm. Interesting. So I need a button, or a key for the button. All right. Not bad. It's just this, this sort of problem solving that I really like about it. Alright then. So now I'm guessing I hit this button. Yep, there we go. Whee! I guess jumping is no longer as fast as we get around. We are currently experiencing, your test environment is unsupervised. Before re-entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, Please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will revive you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. So is this the apocalypse? Is this the result of the Half-Life series? Which actually makes a bit more sense considering it's how, according to the credits from the last game, they are in, the connect in a connected universe. If and that one features... Well, I don't know exactly, because I've never played any of the games, Catholic games, I'm not good at first-person shooters. But, yeah. Something bad. Involving, I think, aliens. Ooh. 
Bow down to the turret takeover. Animal King takeover. Okay. Oh, hey! There should be a completely. portal device on that podium over there. there. I can't see it, though. Maybe it fell off. Do you want to go and have a quick look? Sure. How are you? Oh. Maybe I should have been watching where I was going. Uh, can you see the portal gun? No! Also, are you alive? Yes! Is that me? This is like a, a big a whole story. We've got scientists working on Gladys. And then she goes crazy and kills everyone. And then we have the events from the first game where Shell meets Gladys. And something about... That... Whatever it is. And then he's holding up the, the gun? Worshipping it as Gladys as, as uh, we s ascend out of the madness of the place? I, I don't know. Interesting. There we go! There it is. All right. I'm being completely turned around already. All right. <laughs> I am so stupid. Also, I think this game would be, work better if I had a two-button mouse so I can do the portal firing without reconfiguring the controls. Some emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robotics. To share. Okay. I just want to get across. Good. If you feel that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. Got the animal team take over. Whoa! Okay. Does anyone know how long this game goes for? This next test is very dangerous. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death, smooth jazz will be deployed in three, two, one. Ooh, this is nice. Aww. That was nice. But this, most of this is from the first game. Oh, immediately into test number four. Ooh, now we're getting intricate. What? And there we go. Great work. Because this message is pre-recorded, any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments. Oh, thanks. All right. I'm gonna guess this is glass. Thanks. Oh. 
Okay. We can just walk through, but I want to see what's up here. I no longer want to see what's up here. Oh, look, a cat. Kitty! And it looks like Navi. Cube cat. What's with all the cats? And... Remember your evacuation training. What evacuation training? Ah! Oh. If the enrichment center is currently being bombarded with fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space, please avoid unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. Okay, so I can fire a portal out there, but that's that's a little well and good. But how do I get out? Oh. Okay. That makes more sense. Ooh. Fun! Hey, right, what, what do we have? Okay. Just gonna kick that over here. And what do we have up here? So wait, pressing this, there's a cube up there probably. Goes down, hits that. If I do that, goes through there. Comes out there. And in the first game, speed thing goes in, speed thing comes out. It would fire one. So then that's why that would be there. I got it. Ah! That was funny, though. <laughs> it goes, whee! Well done. The enrichment center reminds you that although circumstances may appear bleak, you are not alone. All aperture science personality constructs will remain functional in apocalyptic, low-power environments of as few as 1.1 volts. That's kind of specific. Why not just one volt? Or less. This next test applies the principles of momentum to movement through portals. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, God help you. <laughs> okay, that's that was actually kind of funny. Whee! What do we got? Alright. Yep. That doesn't work. And now all we need is... Alright. Dronimo! If you are a non employee who has discovered this facility amid the ruins of civilization, welcome. And remember, testing is the future, and the future starts with you. 
I just want to get to the next elevator, and then I'm going to stop it for this recording. Alright, so we have the orange portal down there. I want to see what's over here. Alright. Uh, not much. Wait. Yeah, wait. I have to take down the, the cameras again. Ah, oh, Really? Ah! Really? One more time. We. Uh, we. Ow. Good work getting this far, future starter. That said, if you are simple minded, old, or irradiated in such a way that the future should not start with you, please return to your primitive tribe and send back someone better qualified for testing. Ow. All right, so I'm going to stop it here for this recording. This is a good start. And I'm going to pick this up immediately so that I can get tomorrow's episode out. And that way we can to all be happy and start of a regular schedule again on Sunday. devices have been disabled. The Enrichment Center respects your right to have questions or concerns about this policy. All right, well, that's everything. Save the game. What the heck? Who's been playing this for that long? Oh, well. Goodbye.